Last night in Crossville, Tennessee, the world's largest tree house burned to the ground. It was created by a minister over many years with hundreds of volunteers and it put Crossville, Tennessee on the map. I was fortunate enough to be one of the few who were allowed to go and document the place, so I'm reposting this video in memory. Minister's Treehouse. It's the largest treehouse in the world, apparently. This is my first time here. It's not a treehouse unless it has a tire swing. Am I right? It doesn't have a tire swing. It has a chair swing. Yeah. Oh, it has a swing. Okay. This is the whole Wow. This is amazing. Oh, they did have a swing. A chair swing. Hey man, you're my friend, right? Of course. Will you do me a favor? Sure, what do you need? Will you push me on the swing? Cool, let's do it. <laughs> it looks safe. Oh yeah, look up. Look up? Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh my, it looks like there's 20 different pieces of rope. Yeah. Uh, you only fall two feet. Um, Gary's doing a test sit. You know, we get a million views if you break it. Oh, I know. I don't want a million views right now. Ta -da! How much do you weigh, sir? 315. 315. So it's good for me. Yes. <laughs> Coming back for more. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm 50! <laughs> <laughs> Climb at own risk. Horace. All right. Wow. It holds me. You're good. Yeah. Wowie, wow, wow. Kind of freaky. It is kind of freaky. Wow. <laughs> Check out this chair. That looks safe. No. <laughs> Pass. Fat boy don't sit on chairs like that. Wow. You know, 
This is truly amazing. I think I'm going to go all the way up first. The bell? Okay. Wow. All right. I've been challenged by one of our companions to find the bell. There's a hidden bell in here. I'm guessing it's up high. Whew. I am out of shape and out of breath. Here's the cathedral part. Wow. Oh. <laughs> this is this is incredible. No bell. Still looking for the bell. Whoa. The scale of this is really not appreciated until you're here. Hey. Hi. Hi. Yeah. How about that? Not yet. I'm in some sort of classroom. Given to the treehouse by Buddy and Donna Bilbray. A tree limb? Yeah. Is that the hint to find the bell? I found a classroom. This is a carpenter bee wonderland. <laughs> I'm going up here. Oh my. I gotta let you know that holding the camera means one less hand to hold on to stuff to keep me from falling. So you better appreciate this. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Can I climb with one hand? I think so. Oh. Huh? <laughs> I try not to. This is amazing. Truly amazing. There's no floor plan. There's no plan to this thing. It's just aimless building. They used a lot of nails and some pretty thick boards, but still, you gotta watch your foot. More stairs. More stairs. Come on. <laughs> I think I'm up as high as you can go. Nope. More stairs. There's a room with a bunch of stump sculptures that people have vandalized. Please don't vandalize this place. 
This guy, that's what this guy's saying. He's saying, please don't vandalize me. Whoosh, high five. Wow. Gary, where are you? I'm looking at all the clues. Look up. Hi, sir. Hey. <laughs> hey. Wood carving. Yeah, there's some more up here. And there's pictures. I don't know how they lugged all this stuff out here. There's an elevator? I'm going to find that bell. Somebody broke this window out, and that's not nice. As you can see, it truly is a tree house. It's being supported by this giant tree. And there's even more stairs. Let's go up. Oh my goodness, there's even more stairs. I think I found the, the spire. I think I'm in the... Yes, I'm definitely in that spire thing. You remember the drone footage earlier? Show that footage. Yeah, that thing right there. That's what I'm in right now. And I think I'm about to get to the top. And I'm panting because I'm almost 50. <laughs> now we're above the trees. We are above the trees. This is a perfect day for this. Beautiful day. More stairs even. And I believe I believe I found the bell. I'm going to have to put you in my pocket. Look at this precarious. I'm going up. Found the bells. I'm not going up. That's too dangerous even for me, but you can see the You can see the bells. And you can see how far down. So, I'm gonna prove to everybody that I found the bells. <sighs> found the bells. Ah, bell? more bells. <laughs> There's more than one bell. <laughs> Did you find anywhere neato? Uh, I found a creepy room with more wood carvings. All right. Did you find that one? I did. These steps aren't regulation. They're uh, kind of high. Oh boy. This would make a great creepy haunted house during Halloween. Uh, these ones get big. Oh my goodness. My glutes. Yeah. Oh, a little porch. <laughs> oh, man. I want to go down to that observation deck. What's in there? Closet. Closet space? Closet. Hold on. Let me find out what's in there. Nothing. That's where they keep their extra naily board. Uh, open that door. Open creepy door number two. Crystal porch. It does? Oh, yeah. It's not so creepy. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, this is fantastic! Here's that tub you were looking for. Oh, good. Wow. I guess if you put hot water in it, it'll be a hot tub. Yeah. Well, here I am on the observation deck you saw earlier in the drone footage. Yeah, that one right there. And uh, here's where I was when I just rang the bell up there. 
it's really way high and it's awesome. It's got, it's got power. I mean, they did it right. There's a junction box right there. Well, who does? Here's where you can really see the, the hybrid between tree and house. Wow. I think I found where all the carpenter bees live. Where are you going, Sarah? <clears throat> okay. This is truly awesome. Wow. Did you go out on that lower deck? I'm going out there. I didn't go out on that one. I'm going out here. Oh yeah. Okay. Here's the, the lower observation deck and you can see the awesomeness and the spire and everything. Isn't that great? What a great idea. What a great thing. This is unfortunately one of those things that only lasts for a few years until agencies get involved and say it's unsafe. And then only memories after that. And I'm glad that I was able to come out here and gather a few of those memories because this place is really amazing dangerous but amazing where'd you go Sarah uh, oh okay a ladder into stairs One-handed's no good. No, I didn't go down these steps yet. Me neither. Oh boy. This week good. Careful if you're taller than me. Yeah. Watch your head. Okay, we're down here. And I guess this is where they had some sermons. And played basketball. And look, a basketball. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna go for it. Well, I found a basketball, so I'm gonna first throw it on my finger like a cool guy. Then I'm just gonna throw it over my shoulder and get it right in. That didn't work. Wouldn't that have been cool? I don't think that's regulation height. No, but that was terrible. I don't think I'm a regulation player. Huh? Gee whiz. From point blank range. All right. Yeah, I'll edit all those others out. <laughs> <laughs> what a great place to give a sermon. In a tree house. Yeah, people, this is like, uh, Stadium seating here. What a beautiful place. It's just endless. Here's a, a bedroom. Somebody's bedroom. We've got a 
couch in here. I don't know if you can see it with the light. There's some plates on the wall from various places. A, a Brady Bunch couch and a bed frame. Imagine sleeping in a, a bed in a tree house. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I'm sure I've only explored about 80% of it. Oh my! <laughs> Look at that curve. That is not um, safe. Intentional. <laughs> I think they forgot how much wood weighs. Wow. Thanks for being a friend. T. Nick Jerry. We're not doing as big as swing as you did. All right. I'm gonna push you. Oh yeah, that's so awesome. Can we push you? No, I got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fat kid approved. <laughs> it's more fun because the rope's longer, right? Oh, I swear. It's yeah. cool. Oh. Sir, you gotta try it. Wow. Do I get to see if I could approach you? We were up there. That is fantastic. This is by far the best part of the whole treehouse, is the treehouse swing. Is she going to knock me in the head? Okay. Look at that. This is the back end of the world's largest treehouse. And I'm going to walk over here to what I'm going to assume is the only teepee made of sheet metal. You ready for this? I guess, is this where you do, oh look, a little froggy. A froggy. Don't go in there, there's bad things in there. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's like a, a set or something. What's in there? Oh, and a cabinet. Huh, wow. The property goes on. Yeah, this is just fantastic. I could see living here for a year or two. I mean, if, if I was the guy that built this, I'd never want to leave. Sarah says she found the toilet. And she says, come here. So, all right, let's go there. World's largest treehouse toilet. Sarah says open the door, and then she stood back a few feet. So I'm scared. And there's a reason it smells like this over here. Oh, dang. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. It's a house. Yeah. It's an house. It's a 55 gallon drum. That answers the question if a bear poops in the woods. He does, in fact. And he does it here at the world's largest treehouse. Well, that's just going to about do it from Crossville, Tennessee. It was worth the four hour drive to get here to see the world's largest treehouse. If you ever have time, do it soon. We don't know what the authorities are going to do with this place because people continue to hop the fence. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the subscriptions. But you don't have to subscribe. I mean, if you feel like it. If you happen to, you know, rest your finger on the mouse and the mouse happens to be hovering over the subscribe button. <laughs>